Down here, this is where everyone comes, disappears. Into the despair known as Skid Row. 49 square blocks of downtown Los Angeles. An American encampment of 2,000 homeless like no other. Drug dealers working in the open. The effect on users, stark. Mental illness as rampant as is the trash on the street. In the city of Angels, few care to retrieve the discarded. You doing all right? Uh, as well as I can. Reverend Andy Bales is one of them. He runs Union Rescue Mission in the heart of Skid Row. Watch your step, which is how I got what I got. What he got was flesh-eating bacteria in his foot, contracted while walking through these streets. One personal sign of the rampant disease here, unchecked, says Bale, since the 1970s, when city leaders envisioned a centralized hub for the needy. Time devolved that idea into something else. The police are trying to maintain peace in an impossible environment. I mean, can you imagine? We need a holy embarrassment that will cause us to take action. Do you think that holy embarrassment is coming? If it hasn't come this week, I believe it's, it's coming soon. This week, when LAPD officers shot and killed an unarmed homeless man in a violent encounter caught on tape, a rare skid row death noticed. It happened across the street from this man who goes by Big Rob, former crack addict, former convict. He won't waste time thinking about it. He worries about making a buck being a street barber. I don't care because my wife they don't bring all the food. Ain't nobody else really care. So I mean, I can't care. Is survival the most important thing out here? Survival is the only thing out here. Out here, but also inside the shelter. Is this all your stuff here? This is all my stuff. Homeless for months, Kimberly Watson and her twin 12-year-old boys survived domestic violence. Just as this neighborhood was first envisioned, the only shelter in L.A. County that would take them was the one in Skid Row. Is it terrifying looking at what's out there on the doorstep? Not so terrifying, more sad. More sad. 